hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl cc and we are back at it again today with another video and in today's video we are going to be reacting to an atheist who has a life-changing debate with move to meng now i want to know what this debate was about you know because for you to come from not believing in god at all to perhaps believing in god i feel like that is where the life-changing um situation happens I don't know honestly i don't know how atheists do it how can you believe that there is no god ah me <laughs> there's a god 110 percent oh there is a god because there is no way there is absolutely no way you can tell me that there is no god i will laugh in your face honestly like you cannot tell me that there is no god if you look at this world if you look at the creation if you look at your own body yeah you will see that there is a god things did not just happen overnight no way ah, honestly please if you're an atheist and you're watching how how did you come to the terms how did you come to the belief that there is no god because i cannot see myself not believing that there is a creator mm -mm. Nah. but yeah let's get straight into today's video shall we one day i was speaking to a man very interesting discussion on an aircraft normally you know you travel quite a bit so you get to meet people and when they ask you what do you do some you know you tell them no i i'm a religious person i try to you know teach people a little bit here and there myself as well so i was discussing with this man he tells me i'm an atheist i said okay so what do you believe he says i believe when we die we're just returned to nature so i said okay when you die what have you told those whom you leave behind to do? He says, I will be cremated. I will be cremated. So I had a beautiful discussion with him, explaining to him the damage and the harm of being cremated. He was not happy initially, but then he said, wow, you got me thinking. What did I tell him? I told him, brother, you see, we are buried. We are taught how to be buried from the time of Adam alayhi salatu wasalam. We believe that you, we were created from soil. And the evidence for that is, when we are returned to the soil, we decompose completely into the soil such that the remnants, there is almost nil or nothing. Have you thought of it? This man says, but I'm going to be cremated. I said, now when you cremate a person, what are you doing? You are applying tremendous heat and tremendous pressure to your body. We will not talk right now about whether you can feel it or not, but I will tell you that will not return to the soil. The reason is it becomes ash. Ash and soil are two different things completely. If you were to be decomposed without tremendous heat and pressure, you will decompose within the soil. The minute you apply heat and pressure, you become ash. That ash, what happens to it? It does not return to the soil. In fact, it remains separated. I said, but the, the point I'd like to ask you is, how do you know? that you're not going to feel when people are burning you. He says, because medicine tells us that you don't feel anymore. I said, what if someone has felt it and they could not come back to tell you that we felt it? He says, I'll see when I go. I said, it will be too late. No answer. I'll see when I go. It's too late because people are saying, okay, you're going to burn me. And I start saying, but you want the punishment already whilst you're still leaving the world, not even got to the life after, you know, the year after, so to speak, in the proper sense. And then he looks at me and he says, but you've got me thinking. And I told him something else. I said, okay, my brother, listen to me. Let's say, for example, what you are saying and what I am saying. Put it to the litmus test. If what you are saying is true, then when we die, we will just be decomposed and that's it. Everything is over. What is the possibility and probability of what I am saying to be true? Is there any probability? He says, no, no chance. I said, okay, when I die, if I was a good man who worshipped whoever made me, whoever made me, I call him Allah. I call him Allah, Allah the worshipped one. And I say he is one alone. No worship to be rendered to anyone besides Al Khaliq, besides the one who made me. I put my head on the ground for him. I render an act of worship for him. Whatever I do is for him. So if I were to worship my maker and say, Oh, you who made me, have mercy on me. Oh, you whom I am going to return to when I die, have mercy on me. 
So that is my statement on one hand. And on your side, you do whatever you want and you're not prepared and whatever. When we die, if what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I would have just died and decomposed. This is just a statement to make people think. If what you said was right, I did not lose anything because I decomposed. But if what I have said was right, you have lost everything. It's a fact. So why don't you just come and adopt what I've said? Because even in that case, you will lose nothing. Amazing. So follow some rules, follow some regulations and continue to say, Oh, you whom I'm going to return to have mercy upon me the day I return to you. When you return to someone like you are saying, you may, there may be a probability according to them. But you would have lost everything if what I said was true. He said, well, I'm going to think about it and think about it seriously. He says, you are the first person who's made me shaky in what I believe. I said, you know what? That means you have not spoken to enough people because even a child will tell you that there is a maker. Okay, so this is all about creation and death and life after death now recently i seen a video of um a family um cremating their loved one and i was shaking my head i was like no this is not right you know this is not right you don't know what is what that person is feeling like fire hey to be cremated <laughs> i said wow this is sad i was like you know these people don't know what they're doing that is what came in my head i was shaking my head i was like these people do not know what they're doing i'm not saying that you know i know what happens after death but i believe the best way is to leave the body buried in the way in the original way that we have been taught like he rightfully said from the time of adam prophet adam peace be upon him we've been buried in the ground why would you want to cremate your loved one why would you yourself want to be cremated i believe in leaving the body the same way that the person had died just leave it bury it and that's it me when i die i, will, I just want to be buried i don't want to go i feel like the I don't know how it feels, but I feel like the person who is being cremated feels a lot of pain. Now, I, I have heard that, you know, when someone dies, they feel pain. They feel pain. You know, you may think, oh, what you're doing to the person, the person is not feeling it. But they do. Just because they are unable to react, their body can no longer react. The body can no longer say, oh, ow, you know, you, you just lifting me and doing this is hurting me, you know. Does not mean that the person is not feeling pain. So I feel like when it comes to death and when it comes to um, how to deal with a dead body, you have to deal with it in a gentle way. So for me, cremation... I don't think I am in support of that. No. It will be it will break my heart for any member of my family to want to be cremated, honestly. Because I can just imagine the pain. Hi. I can imagine I really genuinely believe that it's painful. I genuinely believe that it's painful. No. I don't think it's right, honestly. I I don't think it's right. You know, I really don't think it's right. Mm -mm. Because if it's, this is the way that we were supposed to be buried, this would have been something started many, many, many years ago. It wouldn't have been starting now, you know. It wouldn't have, it's quite recent, to be fair. It's quite recent. But no. Mm -mm. I remember um, maybe a couple of months ago or something like that, um, there was this young lady who um, threw the ashes of her boyfriend's mother into um, river or, yeah, into the river. And I said, wow, look, somebody dies dead. You have gone and you have cremated the person. The person is now in ashes. And just like that, they have thrown 
her ashes into the river. The disrespect. You know, whereas if you're in the in the grave, you're buried six feet under, who is coming to disrespect you? Who is coming to take out your bones and you know come like it's not it's not nice. When I saw that I said Astaforullah. Astaforullah, how can one do this? You know, yes, the person has chosen to be cremated, but you know, anybody can get hold of a person's ashes. Anybody can get hold of it, and only God knows what they are going to do with it. Oh, I even remember. Oh, if you search on YouTube, I think you you find the video. There was this lady who eats her her husband's ashes. <laughs> Astaforullah, indeed. I remember seeing that I said, what? That is crazy. Oh, because she she wanted him to be a part of her. And it's like, really? Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad. But yeah, unfortunately, this is the life that we are living. You know, if somebody's out there, they want to be cremated. I don't have a say in your decisions. This is just simply my own opinion. Please, 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 and please. This is my own opinion. Do whatever you wish to do with your body, with your life. But for me, I believe that it is wrong. I believe that this is not the way that God has designed for us to, you know, finally, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is just not the way. I don't believe in cremation. I, I feel like it is wrong and I believe that a person feels a lot of pain. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. And yeah, thank you all so much for joining me in today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please do not forget to like, comment, share. And please do not forget to subscribe and take good care of yourselves. Bye guys.